Hello everyone, this is a video submission for the final project of CSC 380 Human Computer Interaction and we're the 380 Beasts. Our project is centered around the TAPS RAP2. My name is Moti Kalbesa. My name is Luke Heinrichs. And I'm Ryan Fries. The TAPS RAP2 is a wearable keyboard and mouse combo that fits over your fingers, allowing you to control your devices by tapping. It's designed to make typing and controlling your devices more efficient and comfortable, and it's compatible with most devices including smartphones, tablets, laptops, and computers. Out of the box, the TapStrap 2 will connect to any Bluetooth device. Each finger and combination of fingers is assigned to a unique character or symbol, making the device act as a standard keyboard. Although a technical upgrade from its predecessor, the TapStrap 1, the this device wasn't really much of a commercial success. At $200 retail, it's much more expensive than most premium keyboards and mice. It inherits the steep learning curve of its predecessor, is uncomfortable to wear for long periods, and doesn't have the most reliable tab readings. This makes it hard to recommend for the day-to-day -day office work, and there's really no hope for the tab strap 2 to replace the ubiquitous keyboard and mouse anytime soon. However, with some custom software to extend its functionality, it could be a great tool for a hobbyist and a creative. Alrighty, now let's take a look at our prototype, which demonstrates some examples of the TapStraps 2 extended functionality. Alrighty, let's take a look at our features using our prototype. So, let's say a user is using the keyboard and mouse as usual. If they want to start interacting using the tap, they can tap the last four fingers to put the tap into an active state. This is so the user doesn't accidentally send any tap inputs while they're using the keyboard and mouse. So, we have four things on the left side there. We have our pointer assigned to RGB channels, our middle assigned to the blur and hue, the color altering assigned to the ring finger, and the system assigned to the pinky. So if we start here by tapping the pointer, we will look at the RGB channels. This is good for colorists, video artists, or photo editors who need to isolate RGB values within photos or videos. So if we tap through with each of our fingers, we can isolate different RGB values depending on which finger we select. Now using our pinky and thumb, we will press that and we can now navigate the menu on the left again. So let's use our middle finger and go to the blur and hue. So we can bring this up in a bigger window by pressing our pinky. And so now we have all of these effects here that we can test around. We have the pointer, which will increment different blur values. And then we have our middle, which will do a blur over time. This can just be representing any sort of hotkey that an artist has set up. And then just to show you that this also works within the smaller window, we can exit again by using the pinky and we'll test the change hue there. Alrighty, so now let's take a look at the color altering. I'll tap my thumb and pinky again and go ahead and switch to that. Let's bring this up in a bigger window. Alrighty, so we have our pointer assigned to red, our middle assigned to green, and our ring finger assigned to blue. So if I tap my pointer finger, I can now use my pinky and thumb to increase or decrease the red values within this image. Thus, I can also tap my middle to adjust the green values within the image, or I can tap my ring finger to adjust the blue values. Or if I wanted just a random color, I could tap all three to get a random RGB value for the image. Alrighty, so we'll close this just the same way we opened it. And now we can also do the same thing with this image here. Alrighty, finally, let's take a look at the system. So this is just to demonstrate the ways that the tap strap can be used within your system while you're just using your computer. So if we tap with the pointer finger, it will decrease the brightness. If we tap with the middle finger, it will increase the brightness. And if we tap with our pinky finger, we can see that it'll open up the run terminal. Or if we tap with the ring finger, it will open up the task manager. So this is just some examples of how the tap strap can be used alongside a standard mouse and keyboard. And we hope you enjoyed. Thank you.